Hello friends, myself, myself Sagar Khagnar. I am working in the department of mathematics. Today we are going to study the, con the concept ratio and proportion. Basically the ratio is can be written as A by B. For example, suppose we have percentage 100. So we can write down 80 divided by 100 that is nothing but 80%. This is called as the ratio. For example, the probability is the best example. The probability is always out of 1. So, it is always written as the ratio as 0 0.1 divided by 1. Now, the ratio is strictly a mathematical term to compare two similar quantities expressed in the same unit. The ratio of two terms x and y is denoted by x as to y. We also write down this ratio as in terms of ratio that is x upon y. In general, the ratio of number x to number y is defined as the quotient of the numbers x and y. Now, we have these two ratios 2 as to 3 and 5 as to 9. Now, the naturally the question becomes which one is greater. So, we simply write down 2 as to 3 as 2 divided by 3 and the another ratio is 5 as to 9. We can write down this as 5 divided by 9. Now, we make denominator same. We just multiply by 3. 2 into 3 divided by 3 into 3 which will, which will become 6 divided by 9 and another ratio is 5 as to 9. So, clearly it is 6 is greater than 5. So, we can write 6 by 9 is always greater than 5 by 9. That means our first ratio 2 as to 3 is always greater than 5 as to 9. Now, we will see another one example. Are the ratios 3 as to 4 and 6 as to 8 are equal? We simply write down 3 as to 4 as 3 divided by 4 and another ratio is 6 as to 8 we can write down 6 divided by 8. So, we just make it denominator same by multiplying 2. So, it will become 6 divided by 8 and this is also 6 divided by 8. So, the answer is these two ratios are always equal 6 as to 8. Now, the requirement for the ratio the two quantities must be of the same kind and in same unit. The ratio is a pure number that is without any unit of measurement. The compound ratio, the compound ratio is about the relation between two ratios A as to B and C as to D. So, we can write the compound ratio as AC as to BD. So, we can write down here A divided by B and C divided by D. So, we can multiply by C or we can write down here AC as to BD. This is called as compound ratio. Find the compound ratio of the four ratios. The four ratios are given 4 as to 5, 15 as to 13, 26 as to 3 and 6 as to 7. The answer is just multiply 4 into 15 into 26 into 6 divided by 5 into 13 into 3 into 17. This will be the compound ratio. These are the some properties. The duplicate ratio of x as to y can be written as x square as to y square. The triplicate ratio can be written as x cube as to y cube. The subduplicate can be written as square root of x as to square root of y. And the another ratio sub triplicate can be written as cube root of x and cube root of y. Similarly, the reciprocal ratio can be written as 1 upon a as to 1 upon b. Another is inverse ratio. Inverse ratio can be written as y as to x. Just change the position of x and y. These are the some properties. If we have a divided by b is equal to c divided by d, then we can write down their reciprocal as b divided by a equal to c divided by d. This can be written as 1 divided by a divided by b that is equal to 1 divided by c as to d. 
Similarly, another property is if a by b equal to c by d, then we can write down a c equal to b by d. Just we have to cross multiply these two terms. We get here a divided by c equal to b divided by d. Another property is if a by b equal to c by d, then we can add a numerator and we can divide by denominator. That means we can write down here a plus b divided by b and c plus d divided by d. Another property is if a by b equal to c by d, then we can write down here a minus b divided by b and c minus d divided by d. And another property is if a by b equal to c by d, then we can write down a plus b divided by a minus b is equal to c plus d divided by c minus d. That means uh, these are the some properties which are very useful while solving example. Another property is if a by b equal to c by d equal to e by f, then each row, then each ratio is equal to sum of numerators divided by sum of denominators. We solve this example, divide 70 in the ratio of 3 as to 7, simply write down the number 70. We have to divide this number into 3 as to 7. So, just add these two, we get 3 plus 7 that is equal to 10. That means out of 10, we have to give 3 part to the first number and 7 part to second number. So, we simply divide 70 as 3 plus 7 that is equal to 10. So, 70 divided by 10, it will become 7. So, the first number is 3 as to 7. So, we get here. 3 into 7 as to 7 into 7. The numbers are 21 as to 49. This is the answer. The sum of two numbers is 60 and their difference is 6. What is the ratio of the two numbers? Simply we consider two numbers x and y. Their addition is 60 that is x plus y equal to 60. And uh, their difference is x minus y is equal to 6. Just add these two equations, we get here 2x equal to 66. So, we get here x equal to 33. And the another number is y. y can be written as x minus y equal to 6. That is 33 minus y equal to 6. So, we can write down here y equal to 33 plus 6. Sorry, 33 minus 6. That can be written as 27. So, we got here two number 33 and 27. Another example is if x by y equal to 4 by 5, find the value of 3x plus 4y divided by 4x plus 3y. This can be written as 3x plus 4y divided by 4x plus 3y. This can be written as 3x divided by y plus 4 divided by 4 into x by upon y plus 3. Now, we know that x by y equal to 4 by 5. Just simply write down the values 3 into 4 by 5 plus 4 divided by 4 into 4 by 5 plus 3. Simply we get here answer 12 divided by 5 plus 4 divided by 16 divided by 5 into 3. 16 divided by 5 plus 3. So, simply write down here 12 plus 20 divided by 5 divided by 48 plus 5 divided by 5. So, the final answer is 32 divided by 53. Okay. Thank you.